advice I would give to individuals working towards becoming chartered would be to start early. Keeping a log of all the items that you're working on and how they've helped develop certain skills will really help you through the process. For other people looking to become chartered, I'd say definitely get yourself a mentor if it's not something that's already provided by your company. Um, they're really helpful just to sort of go through the process with you and help you work out exactly what you need to do. In terms of mentoring, I think it's really useful to get your professional chartership because it gives you the ability to talk to someone that's been there before and been through the process and gives you an insight into which skills are important, what type of things do you want to put into your report, how does that look and have you got the right balance of skills and it can also be helpful if you know the things that you want to go and work on. Get that perspective of which job roles or which activities could I take part in that will really help me get towards that professional qualification at the end. I think it's something you want to get on with uh, really on day one uh, and to try and make sure that you, uh, you're you keeping that kind of goal in mind and that over the early years of your career, yes, you're seeking to work through and do your job and figure out what it is that you want to be, but also that you keep those milestones in mind and that you, you kind of work towards it as, as, as an overall goal. Stay on top of the things you've worked on. Um, and the, the competencies you've gained and the, the projects you've done and add them to your competence and commitment um, report as you go. It's so easy to fall in the trap of thinking oh, I'll write that in four years time when, uh, when I need, uh, need to consolidate all this stuff but really what that report is meant to do is early on in your career drive you to basically hoover up as many experiences as you can to get the breadth of knowledge and the breadth of capability you need to be a really effective chemical engineer through your career. Uh, my advice as you're working towards Be Chartered is to be uh, very deliberate about it and uh, don't wait for things to be happen accidentally. Be very structured in uh, the training that you're organising with your supervisor. Keep a record of everything because actually when you look back you'll find out you've, you've done a lot more than you think. And then be very targeted about, uh, as you're given new assignments, trying to build in learning experiences into them uh, so that you're kind of developing your portfolio uh, and your um, history as you go along and you're not trying to look back at it afterwards, remember.